All right, just here die we of go. Initiation. Oh, oh look, it's Captain Speedo. What's up, Captain Chin? <laughs> Make the same mistake again. You're hopeless. Yep. And I love all the awakenings in this game. I think Ryu just has to be one of my favorites. Um, I think Makoto's might be my favorite from what I've seen of it. Makoto's is another one of my favorites, yeah. Oh, definitely. How far the star runner of the I feel like, like, I really like how, how, how she stomps in the ground and breaks underneath. Unnecessarily extra, but that fits his character, so it's acceptable. I don't know, I feel like it fits, especially... You know, considering oh, his side of things. The no, no, it fits his character. I'm just like, really though. Selfish act. <laughs> yeah, what's up, One Punch what's Man? Surprise. So you're accompanying him on doing no. at all. Yes, but actually no, but actually kind of. Because yeah. Max I mean, Middleman for Yuji's VA is the English VA for <laughs> Saitama from One true. Punch Man. What a tragedy. Wow, you, you Joker just looks at me like, wow, you're holding back on me the entire time. <laughs> Shut up, announcer from Smash Bros. I can't stand their stench. Okay, you know what? Fair. <laughs> ah, crap, they're bicorns. <coughs> oh, they're working. I think, I, I think a few of the P5 voice actors are also. I, I mean, Yusuke's Matt Mercer, and he's in everything. I'll kill you! I'll kill you because King Kamashita told us! If I remember what the character's job was, like, Laura Post is doing a cultist. I mean, Makoto is Lucy Hartphilia. True. There's more of them? What's that, what's that Ray Chase guy? I think was Ray name. Chase, he's the, uh... The subway, subway announcer, yeah. and he like popped yeah, off announcer. at being the subway announcer for SMT. I was trying to remember what I knew Ray Chase from. That that's actually really it's funny. How much cool. he pops off at being a subway announcer. You piece of. What are those I shoes? I don't know, Chris. Even? Those are loafers. You'd think he'd be wearing slippers like or something. Right? Nope. He sees He's... himself as a king, so why is he like half naked? <laughs> He's, well, well he's this just is like a castle of lust, so it kind of makes so sense. Quickly. But like, it wouldn't, would, if, if you're so inflated. Though it was only temporary, have you forgotten my Sorry, you cut off from it there. Oh, if he's so in love with himself, as this kind of cast uh, implies, shouldn't his shadow be more glamorous looking? Unless he feels like he's perfect as is. Yeah, maybe he thinks that he looks better like this? I don't know. I mean, he does scream like a narcissist. Oh, he's definitely a narcissist. Do you see any photos of himself and statues? I mean, True, and the portraits. I think there's more statues of his face than statues of us. I mean, an interesting <laughs> thing is how, like, someone's narcissism translates to their shadows in Strikers, actually. Oh yeah. Like with, uh, how mon how monstrous they look Try versus how like glamorous or something. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that's why. I mean, to me, that's sort of like like how. Uh... Once these two are dealt with, you're next. Yes. Well, what was the, the politician <laughs> lady? Her shadow was this fat, ugly, gluttonous thing, and to me. Yeah, she was like that she before she away. even turned herself into a monster, which was interesting. Like look then, at like, Alice. There was, uh... Uh, your, your other self, I forgot his name. <laughs> he, uh, uh, when, when you start tearing him apart, mm -hmm. everything that was comics important and wood, so like he knew he was fake from the back. beginning. Oh yeah. Like, it's Stay interesting there, talking about senses of ego, cognition, oh, and the self through the lens of Jungian psychology or persona speak. Like you. Mm -hmm. Because there's That's something I will say that I think uh, Strikers does better than Persona. Mm -hmm. No. What you are. All you think about is using people. You're the I real really like how in depth this goes into psychology. Because it would have been really simple to just gloss over it as something me, simple, but, but they did. Oh yeah. And it shows they really like putting care into their you words. Stupid smile on your face. 
Love that one. Oh, maybe I should do a rotten adults counter. You seek power, correct? Then let us form a pact. <laughs> Since your name has been Because that's a thing. Why not hoist the flag and wreak havoc? The other I mean, you know it's more than that, but yeah. Yeah, I think she's the one that I think makes it look the most painful. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, no, maybe yeah. Yusuke and his fingers? <laughs> but Ryuji looks like it's definitely like burning into his head. <laughs> What can his persona had to fight its way out of his skull. It was extra thick, so it had to push extra hard. Yeah. God. Okay, the VAs did great with these screams. They're like half oh, pain, definitely. half rage. It's beautiful. Like, mm -hmm. wonder how many takes they had to do. <laughs> the, Probably like, just a few. Uh, persona grew on me because the first time I saw it. Really, the longer I played the game, the more I started to enjoy. What's up, Persona? Oh yes, I'm not a cat, but I just meowed. Yo, I'm ready. Bring it. And finally, access to Zeo with some heavy physicals. Did he just septicu himself? Oh, Eligor. Blast him away, Captain King! I don't believe Eligor is weak to anything you have, but he summons some enemies that are. Right, he summons bicorns that are weak to lightning, so that we actually yeah. have something for you to do. So, yeah. so you can still knock down like the bicorn. Baton pass? Yeah, I can't remember. No, I shouldn't. I think baton pass is what we get as our first confidant rank. Mm. So I guess all you can really do is knock down the bicorns and that you can uh, electric stun Eligor. It's one of the nice things about Zeo is that it can sometimes electrify an enemy. And when an enemy is electrified, gun damage has a chance of knocking them down. Indeed. Of course he resists gun. He resists Fizz too? Nope. Which is also good because Ryuji is really good physical. Yeah, you mentioned that he and Yusuke are the physical fighters in this, which makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, he doesn't have any physical skills yet, though. Yeah. Uh, how Barry, yeah, Barry Yusuke, was Yusuke and Makoto. It's really easy to forget how, how little you have in the game. <laughs> Alright, duh. That worked anyway. Cause we're Sonic Heroes! Sonic Heroes! <laughs> it's just that image <laughs> from Sonic Shorts. Why are you doing no, they're this? Kicking we're Why Sonic are you Heroes! <laughs> <laughs> he was kicking him. You used all of your SP on your awakening. That's like the, the thing, right? Yep. Yeah. I mean, it happens in Persona 4 as well. It kind of makes a bit more sense because during the boss fight against their shadows, they're using their SP. Yeah. But there is that, like, forceful, huge explosion that everyone makes when they first awaken. So it makes yeah, sense. The idea is that All right, it's very on. mentally taxing. Mm -hmm. And thus Morgana simping on Anne began. Boo! That bug sucks. Meanwhile, over in PQ2, I'm managing 25 different Persona users. Oh, yeah. Q2's a mess if you try to balance everyone. Okay, oh, so the whole reason Morgana falls for her is because of the cat aesthetic. I'm calling it here. What's going on? I mean, it doesn't help that she later dons uh, the cat Panther suit with. Yeah. Like, that has to be intentional. <laughs> doesn't Ryuji. I think Ryuji in the anime says something like, me next. <laughs> <laughs> Me next. Go hurry, you perv. Yeah. How many In just absolute shock about Princess On, he's like, uh, me next, please, or something. This is my castle, a place in which I can do whatever I want. Which doesn't really go with his character because that he's not interested in On. Slow-witted thieves like you. But uh, it, it might go with the fan's character, because apparently Ryuji and An is a very common 
It really is. That girl isn't the real one. Doesn't Which sort of surprises me because I sort of think Ryuji and Makoto better. Oh, you were the. They talk all the time about him, be like, he's gonna. Strong girl's thumb, and then and then immediately fit cap off the joke with Makoto putting him in his place. I mean, I can kind of see it more than on in Ryuji. But I think a lot of people exaggerate the history between On and Ryuji. Like, there's this one comic that pretends Ryuji dyed his hair so that On wouldn't feel out of place. We're outnumbered. Let's scramble. I mean, that's not a bad idea, but it's not. We're not gonna yeah, do the problem is run? it's Fanon, and they're kind of like upgrading what happened between them and their hair. I mean, the, there's enough room in this game to have a little bit. Of... I mean, Fine. like it's. It's okay to have some kind of head cannons. That's yeah, true. head cannons. <laughs> Plus, I mean, it is not true. You can kind of see uh, Ryuji doing something like if, that. If, if the theory is good enough, I might, I might incorporate it into my ideas of how. I mean, I mean, it kind of makes sense since An was like, she was kind of like an outsider for yeah. being fair skinned, blue eyed, mm -hmm. golden hair because of her, you know, her. I think it was like her mom's American or something like that. Uh, I thought no, Swedish. no, she's European. Swedish, thank you. Yes. So of course she she inherited those genes. So she doesn't mm -hmm. fit your, uh, you know, this the average Japanese girl yeah. stereotype. She does. I do believe she's the only one of the fandom thieves that. That isn't a full Japanese national, right? Right. Not full blooded. Yeah, because she like she mentions at some point that she has friends in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's actually how she picked up modeling, right? I'm complete. Pretty much, because her parents are, because her parents, I think her mom or her father was like a fashion designer. Fashion designer, right? yeah. <laughs> and Sweden do have a few of those. Uh, I mean, it's no Milan, but Sweden do have a few of those like fashion places, especially you're close to Paris and that. So, I mean, it makes sense. Not that you'll get it. Oh God! So it begins. Cat. Nope. Like Jesus. Stop asking questions and accept what you see for what it is. I get he's thick-headed, but Morgana takes every opportunity to shout at the top of the hilltops that Ryuji's useless and an idiot. I mean, a lot of people in this game do that, not just me. Like they're really mean to Ryuji in this game. It's played for laughs, but honestly, it goes a little hard. Yeah. Like, oh, my God, man! Relax. The Cherry Arcana are known for having moments of glory. Like, Chie will put together a lot of stuff in P4 on complete accident. And she's like, huh? Did what I say actually make sense? And I'm like, Chie, you absolute meathead. I love you, but you're a moron. I mean, the Cherry Arcana of Met have been too Yoshi, as in good character. Yoshi says that he believes An is a quarter American. That's certainly possible. There you have it. Like, it's possible. possible she's American, but her family is like a fashion designer that's really famous in Sweden or something. Yeah. Right. I, know, I just know. I know Sweden I know has to do with yeah. it. I just know that her father is Japanese in descent. It's your turn to okay. Yeah, she's half Japanese so, and. Nice about teaching you yeah. Everything. yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah, don't we just Cooperate? ditch the cat here? Don't you remember? Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I'm always really mean to him here because, like, no, we didn't promise that. <laughs> well, Q2 says it's quarter American, so take it as you will. <laughs> oh. Huh? I'm surprised they contained themselves about the jokes then. Because Japan really likes making the jokes about Americans. Not as much as French, but they're there. <laughs> she speaks her mind a lot and she eats a lot of sweets. Yeah. That's true, but usually they go like full on ham with hamburgers and stuff. I never promised. Yeah, I once attempted to watch Italia because Kira. That's like the only thing I remember is the character that's supposed to be America was eating hamburgers one after the other. Yeah. I think Italia really shows Japan's opinions on other countries. Thanks for everything, Cat. I was only able to stomach a few episodes. Italia was. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Cat. You've got guts being a cat and all. Ryuji, yes. See you around. <laughs> See ya, Cat. Ryuji is the best bro in all Persona games. Maybe I'll get you some fish later. Seriously, why are you wrapping this up like 
like everything's all hunky dory. Oh, can't you tell the credits uh, are rolling? Okay, bye. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> Angry Morgana uh, noises. I wonder how many takes it took Cassandra Lee Morris to do that. <laughs> How many do you think she had ruined it by just laughing her ass off immediately after? Oh, many times. Oh, I mean, a, a lot of- how often do the voice actors- Yeah, I dragged you around a lot, huh? Uh, sometimes it takes a lot more kids. <laughs> takes than others. I'm dead tired. You I, know, I know it's a little inconsistent. Sometimes they'll have the voice actor doing all the lines together, but sometimes mm -hmm. they'll be hiding them from each other because it might be- Spoilers up from getting out or something. I definitely prefer when it's the former because then they actually have a chance of bouncing each other's reactions off. That way, there's well, less of a good director, of even if they're not all there to faces of the guys come and get them to sound like they're bouncing. Yeah, I mean, they probably do yeah. the individual one if it's like uh, more like re redubbing lines, or like one of the yeah, monologues or something. Ones. Yeah. Like, you oh, don't okay, need freaking yeah, hot hammercorn in the room while Jeremy Lay's doing her big speech to her dad. Well, then, and like, if you need to fix a passage or something, you don't need to get everybody there. Just yeah, like, hey, can you just reread that one line or something? And then, yeah. you know. Hey, so. Okay, how much do you think it takes to, like, dub if one of the bar one fights one in Fairy Tale? Because they have to sound mad, but not too mad. Uh. <laughs> It depends. Oh, like, how many characters are we talking? You've All seen, of them. Yeah, you've seen All the bar fights in Fairy Tale. Like, well, I'm just saying, Fairy Tale are always balls. crazy messes. <laughs> I love I mean, it so much. It usually, it usually starts with like two characters, and then over the course of about two minutes, <laughs> the entire game. I, I think ball. my favorite is when Urza's cake gets knocked out of her hand, and it's just like there will be blood. <laughs> that happens multiple times. I think my favorite is the one where she decides. <laughs> It's it's really a running gag. You don't mess with Urza's cake. Anything I say seriously. No. Still, those rumors about him getting physical might be real. And after seeing Kamoshida's distorted heart thing in person, there's no way I can just sit back. Oh, I forgot this is your first confidant. I'm counting on you. Don't worry, I'm hyped about First time they're calling them confidants too. Which I've got since I played this one first, I'm sort of stuck confidant. Uh yeah. It kind of makes sense from a perspective, but considering they were social links in 3 and 4, it feels like they were just trying to change things up to sound edgier or, so, or cooler or something. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's all it actually was. I mean, I mean that does a bad thing. So I'm stuck. I mean, they also changed up the tarot <laughs> deck. In 3 and 4, they used the same deck. You could have like the appearance of the cards five. and they everything. Use, uh, they used the French names, but they, oh, well, but they stylized the words like a distorted version of the same tarot. Which I thought was really cool. Am I wrong? Like, I mean, I'd sort of like to see each game from now on have a different like style of card. card. That'd be cool. Yeah, to fit to fit each game's. So let's see. We've had blue. We've had yellow. We've had red. What? Green. That's purple. The, green is the popular meme. <laughs> now watch. Persona Six will be purple. I'd be down. I have oh, I can't believe we did blue again. <laughs> no, watch as every Persona game, they just pretend the latest one doesn't exist. Oh, I was just joking. That'd be funny. Oh, like, and I can't see purple. <laughs> okay, so I feel oh. like this is a kind of missed opportunity where they should have had each 10 sections of chains and like one snap. breaks off each time you rank up. So that the card's fully freed at, when you max it, instead of it having the same oh. chain breaking animation All each right. time. They don't do that, but there is one thing about the conference oh. for what? a really long time. It was only right. it was my my uh, second playthrough of World. I noticed that the character you romance, the stars become hearts. Oh, that's actually really sweet. Oh. Yeah, sure. Let's go. We're, we're, Just follow me. You know a ramen place I mean, or something, right? Hear about from, yeah, from rank nine, it'll be hearts instead of stars. It's kind of adorable. That's really sweet. That I like that touch. There's nothing mm -hmm. like that in P4 that I noticed what? when I did Nauto. Hell, man. How well, no, because it probably I don't think it was in original P5, but I'm not sure because I did manage. Are you for real? If it was me, I wouldn't come I, down until I punched that dick in the face. Nauto's actually kind of tricky to romance. 
You gotta be careful you with your words. And you're living here now, huh? How, how early in her confidant do you have to be careful? Um, you just have to tell her at a certain point, I think it's rank three, that you're happy she's a girl. Oh, rank three won't really, really early, but you're happy that she's a girl isn't, isn't too hard to remember. Yeah, that's like the first, first indication. Think that. Um, I think later on, you have to be the first one to confess. And she doesn't say anything in response like in until, ass, like, the next that. social link rank. Like don't I did something oh, so you you decide that you want to date Yeah. then, but she doesn't answer you till the next one. Yeah. So, like, call it, call it. And then you get another Oh, is that how Kami Kami works? Because I've never figured... Yeah, Kami Kami works that way. You tell, her, you tell her that you want to romance her, mm -hmm. but she doesn't accept it because of the whole teacher-student thing. So, so she yeah, leaves like, you alone I never, for, uh, in Persona 5, one. every other dateable character. Be okay, careful, this is where you decide if you're gonna date them. Yoshi and says, I, never noticed that I believe it's rank 6, you have to say it. Rank 8, you confess. Rank 9, it becomes official. Anyways, I, I think, I think, from yeah, I think Yoshi's right. I don't quite remember exactly when it was. I'm sure we'll both feel better about being So rank school. six, you have to say, I'm glad you're a girl, because Naoto starts questioning whether things would be the same if she had been born a boy. Oh, yeah. And then at rank eight, you have to say, like, Tell I care about, about you or something. Chat, and too. in rank nine is when you have to make the choice, because that's when... A lot of work to make sure that you're... You yes. even have the choice. Yeah, it like... Although, at least it's not, like, <laughs> early, early, like... Yeah. We're gonna start right away. Where you I'll probably have an idea that I like you not to buy that. What? The volleyball Where, rallies Yeah, tomorrow, it's huh? better than if it was in like rank one or two Kamoshida. and you end up soft locked out of it otherwise. But thanks to that, we got no classes. We cut the out. Afternoon, and we I did. Me, unnoticed. Yeah, I couldn't hear what you said there. Oh, I was saying it's better than if it was in like rank well, two or three or something, and oh, yeah. if you did it without realizing, you end up soft locked out of the romance. Come on, you gotta eat more. Yeah, that would kind of suck. Uh, for for Yoshi's context, I am currently playing Persona, and I am basically down to deciding whether I'll date Nato or About this plan to take down. Because <laughs> it's basically if I don't like Nato enough, then I'll just go with Chie. Right. Fair enough. I was going to go with Rise, but then I really liked Naoto's social link. Oh, hey, it's Shiho. Oh no, it's Shiho. Oh no, Shiho. He ho, Shiho. Okay. Hey, homeboys. Okay. Oh no. I, I feel terrible for making the hee-ho joke about she-ho. Yeah, because measure I'm pretty I sure I don't want to see him go. Yeah, that like feels... It she feels ho. bad memeing on she -ho. I mean, maybe don't do it on the day of I'm the sure incident. Coming up soon. Yeah. So I keep thinking. That's the day after the volleyball rally. So the 14th. Yeah. Like, yeah. Really be on the starting lineup? Yeah, uh, when we like, get that, to the 14th. Honestly, that is probably the heaviest moment in the entire game. Yeah. Yeah, when we get to the 14th, I'll definitely be a lot more serious. Like, I'll try and do that whenever we get to one of the days where something huge happens. Like, I, I can't meme on that. You you can't. That's just wrong. No. Poor Shio. No, it's nothing. It's normal. Especially since She needs help. Help that we can't provide. Yeah. Sui Hello, is Mishima. Sui. Um, Mr. Kamashita. I still can't believe Futaba you... calls this man an NPC to his face. Huh? Like, she's not wrong, that? but <laughs> he didn't. She's literally not wrong. He's actually an NPC. But newsflash. <laughs> On I. Futaba is the only one of the Phantom Thieves who's an NPC. meeting about the starting lineup or something. Joker's the only non-NPC. No, no, because in yeah. combat you can play oh, as everybody. You know what? That's a fair point. Yeah. Except Futaba. Well, <laughs> the only okay, NPC no. member of the Phantom Thieves. Well, I, I, Mishima kind of considers Good himself luck. an honorary Phantom Thief. Doesn't count. It absolutely doesn't count, but like the man can believe whatever he wants. If it's his cognition, he's a phantom thief. More power to him. You have a mask and a code name, then I guess you're not a phantom thief. 
<laughs> I want to see I'm, like I'm back some... the next day with a mask and a code name. I want to see some kind of comic of a Mishima and a Kane just going at each other's throats with Phantom Thief trivia. Honestly, it was a totally missed opportunity to not have me. <laughs> One. Like she's in a subscriber war with him. And that would be glorious. I guess you learned your lesson after what happened yesterday. Uh, as long as you're not getting into. You know what? Mishima totally would subscribe to a Kane. Oh, he probably would. Shamelessly. I know what you've been he probably about. plugs her stream on the fan site. <laughs> She'd be like, oh my god, I'm on the fan site. <laughs> Which is the bigger phantom dork? Yes. What? Oh, is that seasonal? The, like, cherry blossom things behind it? Yes, it is seasonal. It'll change. New phone who dis? I always love the, uh, when he makes the group chat for <laughs> <laughs> You totally can. Are you even listening to me? No, if I was Stay on my phone. From bad influences, okay? It's way too late for that. <laughs> Who's worse, the cat or the thug? Get home for the night. Yes. I'll lock the I mean, the cat actually does try to scare you in the right direction for this game. Say hi to Futaba for me. He's like, what? <laughs> How do you know that? <laughs> Sojuro Palace level 99%. I should write <laughs> Alright, this is going to be the end of the stream for the night. I feel like this is a good place to stop. We'll be getting yeah. into serious business with the volleyball rally and stuff tomorrow. So, oh, yeah. I won't meme as hard on those days. Alright, sounds good. Alright. Until then, fam thieves. Yep, tomorrow will be more of the Lucy Lock, and then we'll be back with this on Thursday. Have a great okay. night.